Hey, what's going on? My name's Lucas. Welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to be doing a quick Superior Drummer tutorial to help you write songs faster when you don't have a drummer or access to a drum recording setup and you want to lay down some rock or metal riffs. <laughs> Okay, so I've loaded an instance of Superior Drummer here and also my SD3 MIDI Names Ableton Rack, which you can get for free on my website. If you open up Superior Drummer, I'm just gonna choose Death and go to the default setup. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the mixer and let's just do some routing that's gonna make our lives easier. So we're gonna take all these kick microphones and put them to bus one. I'm gonna grab all these snare microphones and put them to bus two. I'm gonna skip the hi-hat for a second and come back to it. I'm gonna grab all these toms and put them through bus three. So you can see the pattern here. I'm bussing all of the specific drum sounds that I want grouped together. And then the next one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna also grab the hi-hats and I'm gonna grab all of these cymbals, including the overheads as well, and bust that to four. And then I'm gonna take all of these room mics and bus those out to five. So we have five new buses that we just created so we can show and hide different things here. But if we just enable buses for right now, we can label these. So this is gonna be all of our kick mics. Next is our snare mics. Next we have toms. Next we have overheads and cymbals. And lastly, we have our room mics. This is slightly oversimplified than what you might want for mixing, but you'll see in a second this is going to help you really speed up your workflow. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to route these out, and I'm going to actually start with bus 3 and 4. You'll see exactly why that's useful in a second. So we have 3, 4 for kick, 5, 6 for snare, 7, 8 for toms, 9, 10 for overheads, and 11, 12 for room. And that's all that we need to see right now, but like I said, if you need to go back to any of these for mixing purposes, you can show and hide them right here in the visibility panel. Now, I'm going to go into Ableton, and I'm just going to create one, two, three, four, five new tracks and label them accordingly. So we had kick, snare, toms, overheads, and room mics. And we're just going to set the inputs here to Superior Drummer 3. Actually, we can hold all of these like this and do all Superior Drummer 3, but now I'm just going to have to go one at a time and set the routings first to 3, 4, then 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11, 12. So this is our, effectively our multi-output routing. I'm going to color all of these green, and I'm just going to relabel this SD3, which stands for Superior Drummer 3. So this track is where all of our MIDI programming is going to happen. And these tracks, we have to actually also set them all to in as well, so they're always going to be monitoring uh, regardless of whether or not you have the record enable set up. So now, anytime we have any MIDI playing, or if you want to play them on your keyboard like this, it's all set up to be multi-output routing with the toms and everything. So slightly oversimplified because I wanted this not to take up so much CPU and I just wanted to have all these tracks bust down. The next thing that I would do is I would actually just group this and label this drums. And I would actually just save this whole situation as a template. You can also just drag it into your browser right here and be able to open this up anytime and it'll always have the routing. I just wanna show you one final thing in Superior Drummer. I'm gonna to go to settings and hit MIDI eDrum settings and I'm using my death preset, which you can download. So user presets is down here, and you can download this for free off my website, which is included in that pack that I mentioned earlier. So that's sweet. I wanna make sure that the keyboard mapping is really easy for playing it just like this. And the next thing that I also wanna do is I'm gonna show you this fun workflow tip. I've enabled keep output routing on preset change, and now what I can do is I can go to these part presets and switch between these different kits, so I'll show you what that does. Um, I can go to another kit, right, and it'll change the entire kit and save all my output routing. And the reason why I like this is because I kind of want to use the raw setups in Superior Drummer and then do my own mixing in Ableton. That helps me save some CPU and just gives me a little bit more flexibility. Um, I find that the the Superior Drummer mixer is really nice and they have a bunch of effects bundled in and stuff, but it can really hog my CPU. And it's also another window for me to have open for mixing. Whereas I find that I can have a little bit more of a simple streamlined setup if I'm just mixing them here using the Ableton plugins that I frankly know a little bit better. 
um, that that gives me a little bit better control. For for writing songs, I think having a sort of more minimalist setup is really helpful for me. And I don't want to be doing a lot of complicated mixing in the mixer in Superior, and I don't really want to be doing any complicated programming as far as like MIDI stuff in Superior because it's just another layer of software that I would need to feel comfortable with. I'd rather just edit the MIDI right here using these templates that I created. So that way I can line it up to whatever guitar parts I'm writing. Let me know if this was helpful. Again, my name's Lucas. Thank you guys so much for checking out my video. Definitely head to my website for a bunch of free and paid downloads like the Superior Drummer MIDI mappings for the Death Expansion Kit. And I'll catch you guys in the next video, all right? Take it easy. <laughs>